We're definitely talking about something a whole lot more tasteful than what the boys just discussed. And I have got my sister from another Mr. Miss Caitlin Williams in studio with me this morning because we are combining two rat, things. Oh my goodness. <laughs> really? Sheesh, I thought it was, yeah, okay, April Fool's is still a while away. Okay, back to business here in the kitchen. Can you see what I have to deal with all the oh, time, no, Caitlin? I can't. All right, so it is all about hot cross buns this morning, and we are combining it with probably the most coveted cookie in France, mm. the macaroon. The macaroon, yes. So we're making hot cross buns, ma hot cross bun macaroons, macaroons today. Or in French, macaron. Macaron. Yeah. Macaron. Uh, so, I mean, I don't know about you, but I know we get hot cross buns all year round, but I purposely avoid them, and I like to eat them just before Easter because it makes them special. I also purposely avoid them yeah. as well, yeah. but it's just because you still are a lot more available than any other time. So we thought we'd do a bit of a spin on a um, hot cross Ooh, bun and okay. do a, a macaron. Now, macaroons are one of those things that chefs and foodies kind of avoid at all uh -huh. costs because they're very stressful. Yes, um, but they're temperamental. Yeah, yeah. and, and um, I always say macaroons are like men. Really? You know, they're unpredictable, uh -huh. uh, but once you find the one, the perfect recipe, then they're easy. That just happened. <laughs> that just happened. I like that. I must write that down next time. <laughs> okay, so this is a this is really, really an awesome recipe okay. and uh, it's pretty, pretty simple. So right. we're gonna get going. I've got um, egg whites in a bowl here. All right. And this is the trick to the macaroons, is you're going to just gradually unravel the, the proteins in the egg whites. Okay. Um, you don't want to do it too fast, otherwise they're gonna collapse. And always clean bowl, clean whisk. Okay, so there's no fat, otherwise you're gonna have no, no fluff to your, your meringue. And a good measure of patience as well. Yes. Yeah. And we're also gonna do a measure of cream of tartar. Okay. And that's just gonna help it fluff as well. And while I'm whisking, uh, in the bowl, if you can have some ground almonds. All right. We've got, um, you're gonna sift them to make sure they're nice and fine. And then we're gonna mix, uh, mix them with ice, um, the salati ice and snow. Okay, okay, wonderful. So I can pop this in? Yes, the whole thing. that all together, yeah. All right. And then the icing snow as well. Yes. Why would we use the icing snow though? So it's a very fine texture. How much? You, all of it. Whoa! Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's a very fine texture, which is okay. going to give you the macaroon, the lightness that you want for macaroon. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Yeah. And then we've got some spices over here all right. that obviously make macaroons what they are, which is the, the mixed spice and the cinnamon. Delicious. Yeah. Well, while we're mixing this up, if you would like the recipe for our hot crust bun macarons, all you have to do is SMS the word to to 33728 and we will gladly send you that recipe to your mobile phone and you could be making this for Easter. Do you know what I like about yes. hot crust buns in particular? Mm -hmm. It's the fact that they say that if you are sharing a hot crust bun with a sign of friendship and love. Oh, that's cute. You know, so you, you, you break it open and you give one, like I did with Claire this morning. You take the one half, I take the other half. Oh, that's very cute. I, I like that. that. I like that a lot. So I've got, now it's, it's reached uh, what we call soft peak stage. Yeah. So I'm going to be adding, I've got some, just some, some salati white sugar. Okay. And that's just going to stabilize it. And you're just going to mix that in. And we're nearly done with the noise now. Almost there. And then you're just going to whisk it till it forms stiff peaks. Okay. And then we're good to go. So obviously you can you can change your flavors up if you want. You can have vanilla. So you can put okay. vanilla seeds in. Or you can add extract. So, I don't know, I think strawberry, orange, all sorts of different flavors. Would you use the, the seeds or the extract rather? You could use the extract in here or okay. the seeds in there, depending okay. on what you want to add. Okay, so I like it. There's that's some done. versatility in there. Okay, so now you can see it's um, holding its shape. There we go. That's what we want. Nice. Now for the trick, which is the folding in. Oh, okay. So we've got our spices in here. Let's so get that flavor. I'll let you, the professional, do that. So you're going to fold this in in four batches, just so that you make sure that you don't knock out all the air that you've just okay. created. And just gentle swooping motions. No, like whisking, uh, no beating yes, or knocking yes, out yes. all the air. So you want to add some more in for me? Like I said, patience is required. So I'm yes. going to just pop it in like that, right? Yeah. There we go. There we go. And you're just going to carry on until everything is um, folded in. And then we're going to pipe it onto a baking tray mm -hmm. um, and fill it with, you can fill it with all sorts of different um, fillings. We've got uh, whipped white chocolate ganache here, which has been infused with a bit of orange peel. Um, just to bring that um, sort of zestiness yeah. in from the hot cross bun. You can also use a cream cheese frosting. Delicious. One more. One more. Or you can just use plain chocolate if you want. All right. 
Okay, well, while you're stirring that up, like I said, the uh, keyword for this recipe is salati. If you SMS that to 33728, we'll send you the recipe for what we're making this morning, which is a hot cross bun macaroon. But there's a second part to that. Once you've SMS the word salati, you'll automatically be entered into a competition to walk away with a salati hamper that's got a variety of different sugars like you see we've been working here with some of them and you'll also get an apron. We've got five of those to give away so uh, start SMSing now because you could win one of those hampers as well. They really are very nice. Right so we're done here. Wow you were busy while I was yeah. talking. <laughs> My goodness. And then I've got to oh, check on. if you're doing anything in a piping bag and you're alone. I mean I've got you here. Oh, I like that's to always a nice put it in a, trick. in a glass okay. and then you don't have to mess everywhere. Yes. I'm just going to put some of this in. Because sometimes it lands everywhere but in the actual piping bag. Yes. The trick is don't, please don't overfold your mixture. Once it's more or less mixed, okay. you're going to put it in your piping bag. Otherwise you're going to overmix it and then they're not going to come out perfectly. Ah, nice trick. I like that. We'll yes. remember it next time. Off the end. Okay. Over here. Pop that in there. Okay, and now you're going to use your piping skills. There's nothing too fancy about this. Mm -hmm. You're just going to pipe little rounds. And then once you've piped the rounds, this is the trick of all tricks. Yes. So if there's one thing that you listen to today, you leave it at room temperature yeah. for about half an hour until it forms a skin, all right. a macaroon skin. Oh. And that's what's going to give you your macaroon shape. So your nice. little foot with the little, the smooth top. Okay. And so once it's, it's um, sort of light to the touch and you can pull your finger away without yeah. the dough sticking to it. It's ready. It's so ready. pop it into the oven at Great tip. I hope you caught that because that was very nice. I didn't know. I would have popped it straight away. Yeah, no, And no. then just had a macaron something. Okay. So you put them in the oven at 150 degrees for about yes. 15, 16 minutes. Okay, wonderful. And then they're done. And then they come out looking like, yes. ta-da! That's very, very nice. How would we have gotten the little cross on there? So what you would have done is I, I tinted my mixture a little bit, so mm -hmm. just a little bit of brown food colouring, and I kept some of the original mixture aside, and I just piped the cross on. Or oh. you could do it with icing sugar as well to cheat. Delish. I love macaroons. They are awesome. I'm so happy that I helped you make these. Pleasure. It was a tough job, but somebody <laughs> had to do it. Once again, if you would like the recipe for our hot cross bun macaroons, all you have to do is SMS the word SALATI to 33728. You'll also automatically be entered into our competition to walk away with a beautiful SALATI hamper with an apron as well and of course we are giving away five of those so start smsing now caitlin you're a rock star i oh, love you thanks give us a taste i'm gonna give it a taste we're gonna go to an ad break we'll see you right back after this huh the sweetness lingers longer with salati and espresso